Well, the lovely thing is you're smiling. You're yeah. smiling. I know. It's taken two, nearly three years to smile again. It's a long, it's but, a long road, yeah. divorce, isn't it? Do you know? It is. And, and I don't think I ever really thought about it properly until... We never do. No. Until it happens to you. And I tell you what, and it's far worse. Anything's far worse, actually, in your 40s and 50s than in your 20s and 30s. Mm. I think for women, whether you lose your job or you get divorced, it's that optimism of youth isn't mm. there. Mm. And, 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 it's, you know, and I've spoken to so many people about this. And the only reason I started actually writing, because um, I'm dyslexic, yeah. um, love spell check. <laughs> the only reason I started writing, because I was, I was making notes along the way to help myself. I was going to say, have you used it as a kind yes. of cathartic? Yeah, oh, God, absolutely. And then I found that people were people I didn't even know were just coming up to me and saying, now, can I just talk to you about, you know, I know you've been through that and I've read some things in the newspapers, but this has happened to me and I started getting into conversations. And, of course, I love a chat. Mm. And, um, and then friends were ringing up, asking for a bit of advice, and I did a bit of advice there. And, and then I'm making... No and so what's happened is this is, a book, this is not just about me. This is about lots of people. So it's everyone's um, experiences that kind of bleed together. Absolutely, and I've interviewed people, and also because I had a little bit of help as well, because I got to the point, and I know I was mm. listening to you saying this the other week, when you said, I can't deal with this on my own. Mm. I actually need somebody to talk to that's a professional. Yeah. We love our girlfriends. Yeah. Jane's lived a lot of this. I have. <laughs> <laughs> I have. I <laughs> But sometimes you need to go and speak yeah. to a professional. And is that did you, you have self-help books? Then? Did you go and get... Buy I them? went into Waterstones and I went like... Oh, like that, thousands that. of them, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's exactly what he means. <laughs> yeah. Got from Paul McKenna's How to Mend a Broken Heart. Yeah. You name yeah, it. Yeah. I mean, but what all, about all the, the emotional side of it as well? Because, you know, you your whole sort of persona is perfect. You know, perfect housewife, perfect... Oh, yeah. I know that your her knicker yeah. drawer is a sight to behold, let oh, me tell you. It's, yeah. it's organised and folded and everything um not but anymore a, the, the big thing about divorce is is that feeling of failure isn't oh, it oh gosh yeah no do you think what about what because and i'm a big one for this i think a lot of women are we, we love the torture chamber uh, what have i done wrong mm. it must be me mm. and and i'm the first one to go down that road you know we call it now and i call it the prison of bad thoughts and you start on one bad thought and you slowly go down to all the rest of them. So it's negativity, you, oh, isn't oh, it, in the end? Completely and utterly. And, and I did, when I took some professional help, and I went to somebody who wasn't like, oh, let's sit down, have a cup of tea and talk about it. It was somebody who opened my mind to the bigger picture, yeah. to understanding everybody else's point of view and how mm. you've got to this place, but actually understanding how you deal with things. I think the fear for me was the biggest thing. Oh, I, you yeah. know, as well oh. as the broken heart, obviously. But yeah. it's that this overwhelming fear of I don't know how to start again. I no. don't know how to move no. on. And I thought I was going to lose everything. Everything you've worked for, everything that you've done. You know, and we're women, so you know we have this in our DNA. You know, we're homemakers. And, and your stepdaughters, and of course. Absolutely. Mm. And yeah. I was in a position where, you know, they're not my blood. I don't think I could have a better relationship with a group of young girls, even if they were my own. And, yeah. and I'll tell you what was really funny. We were, I think we had breakfast or something, and we were standing in the kitchen, and uh, Claudia, who's 19, and it's Lily, who's 24, and we are having a little conversation about relationships. And I realised that we're all, three of us, sitting there, having the same conversation, and there's 30 odd years between us. Yeah. That's what, well, Talking that's about the third, we never changed the, the age there, yeah. and obviously it was well documented in the papers that Grant had a younger woman that's in his it, life. Yes. Does it make it harder if somebody has left you? You know that whole younger woman thing again oh, God, when yeah. we're in our fifties. Of course, it does. You're looking in the mirror top. going like that, going, <laughs> <laughs> what? Can we go back to the, per the persecution? Yeah. What? Oh, it, well, it must be, I'm old. I'm this. I'm mm. that. I'm the other. Um, you know, and and obviously, and I realise now, it was none of those things. It was all about him. It was, you know, what what he was mm. doing. It wasn't about me, but I thought it was, and that's the persecution. And, have, and I, there's lots to, of ways. Do you have to learn to not bear grudges then? Because bearing grudges, ah, that's yes. toxic, isn't it? Ah, mm. it's a and then and that brings that. on bitterness, mm. and that doesn't ever leave your soul if you if you don't let something go yeah. so is it learning to not learning bear grudges let and letting and letting go one of my big points in this book is <coughs> and you must never see this as a weakness is 
be decent. Mm. Let go. So there's Hard all no. oh. <laughs> <laughs> all those things. Have the conversations with your friends. Talk to the mirror. Kick yeah. whatever you need to do, but actually be true to the real you. Mm. Not the you you've become, not Miss Marple, not the person who's, you know, yeah, raging. Yeah. And the one that has a glass you. of wine no. which and isn't remembers you. Yeah. When, you have a, and when it all floods back. Don't make go. decisions after the third glass of wine. No, it's never. not going to happen. Yeah, you're right, you're right. That's it. If you do want revenge, I think the best revenge is getting happy. Yeah. Being with somebody else. You know, it is. You know, with somebody else, it's about being... And it's far more difficult, and, I, and I've seen this, mm. and you've seen friends do it, I've seen friends do it, I've wanted to do it myself, and I thought... And that's when, actually, age does you a favour, because you think, right, OK, I'm going to really sit back and think about this one. Mm. And it's far more difficult to deal with a woman who's being really quite decent yeah. and nice about it. Yeah. And don't, this is not a weakness. This is actually a massive strength, but we don't think it is at the time. Mm. When you stand back and you go, no, do you know, all I know is there's no way back from anger, and I have been decent about everything. Good for you. Yeah. And <laughs> I know that now I have, I'm, I'm not living, I'm not living with that any recrimination. And why not click here for more? And don't forget to subscribe by clicking here so that you never miss out on the best Loose Women moments. Funny thing is, I was in a vulnerable place and at the time I thought I had all this confidence and I was taking the world on. Yep. I didn't realise I was a shadow of myself. 